Natalia, together with her father and sister, she put her brother in the frozen snow until spring and fell down without strength and hope to rise. She died 10 days after Savin, on December 30, 1981, in the 46th year. Geologists say that Natalia and Agafia were very similar. The similarity, I think, was complemented by the dress and manner of speaking through the nose, greatly stretching the words. But Natalia was taller. Agafia called her Chrysnaya, her sister was her godmother, and Savin was her godfather. With the death of her mother, the eldest daughter tried as best she could to replace her. After mummy we got into a lot, but the red haired girl still learned to weave, and SEWED shoulder blades for everyone. Natalia's lot was to sew, cook, heal, reconcile, regret, calm. It all turned out differently from the mother. Natalia suffered from this. They listened badly to cries Naya. And everything went to pieces, Agafia said. Natalia was in her sister's arms and died. I feel sorry for you. You are left alone. These were her last words. Agafia, first impression, a blissful, mentally retarded person. A strange speech, barefoot, soot on his face and hands, scratching himself all the time. But, getting used to the speech and looking closely, you understand, no, everything is in order with your head. The backwardness of this indefinite age of a woman, as experts in human nature would say, is social. The world in which Agafu grew up was limited by a hut, a vegetable garden and a circle of taiga. Stories about the world of parents. But what could they tell, if they themselves grew up on the sidelines of life, were dark, superstitious and fanatical? Fanaticism in Agafia is not very noticeable. We can't do this, she says by the fire, watching us sip tea with condensed milk. Out of the corner of her eye, she glances at her father. No, you can't. If the ban had been lifted, it seems to me that she would have enjoyed drinking tea with pleasure, she would have even broken off a piece of a bar with the strange name chocolate. Two days later, I already understood well, Agafu is not only smart, but she is a person with a sense of humor and irony, she knows how to make fun of herself. Agafu knows how to sew, cook, owns an axe. This summer she cut down something like a taiga winter hut in the second vegetable garden, she worked out the table in the hut. Why not brothers? You ask them, you ask them, it is easier for yourself. If Agafu filled out a questionnaire with her pencil and tube, she would find a place in it to note that she is not a hackneyed person, her element is a vegetable garden in taiga. Together with Dimitri, Agafu dug holes for catching merrills, she can skin the beast, she cooked and dried meat over a fire. Agafu knows the habits of animals, knows what kind of grass in the taiga you can eat, and from what you will die. The year before last, she solved a problem that was beyond the power of even Dimitri, who knew everything that runs through the taiga like his fingers on his hand. An animal fell into the pit. In the confusion and gloom, everyone decided that it was a moose calf. But when they lowered the ladder into the pit to stab the beast, the moose calf barked. Savin and Dimitri looked at the curiosity with perplexity. They did not know such a beast. And then Agafia said, is this Polish? I'm a pig. Mama, remember, she said that there are such people. And in fact, geologists have confirmed. Polish? I am a wild field pig, that is, a wild boar. Boars came to this place quite recently. Having an excellent memory, Agafia, together with Savin, was doing a very important business for the family. Counting time. Now Agafia's worries have multiplied. Stove, vegetable garden, preparation of food for the winter, various minor chores. He does not lose hope of catching a red deer. We need a little meat for the winter. Agafu is willing to visit the sediment of geologists. It's just like a holy holiday. That's how you say it with everyone. Of course, in these conversations someone will certainly say, Agafia, you would get married. What a guy we have. And they will usually point to the handsome tall basque of the driller. Agafu quite understands the joke. And he always answers in the same way, no, this is not possible. I am the bride of Christ. Carefully sorting out the relationship in the family, Nikolai Istinovich and I asked Agafia, which of the brothers did she like more? Me. Cha. Agafia beamed all over and suddenly raised the tip of the handkerchief she had been given to her eyes. Me. Itya. Such as the single green twig on the drying out tree of the Lykovs. 
I ask you to share these videos in your social networks, using the buttons under the video and subscribe to the channel. I ask you to go and watch other videos about Agafia Lakova, which you now see on the screen in the end screensaver.